Why am I uh, catching street bullets? Why are you quiet? We're good with the news, it's a prank. Now. Yeah, I know. Today that I knew that you see all these Bibi and Zamzis and three viewers, they like violence. Ah! They like violence. See the way people are excited. People are jumping up and down. People are busy tweeting. People are busy posting. Everybody is all irated. People are getting overly excited. Why? Just because Terry and Tato, they had an altercation, a massive altercation over what? Candles. And guys, guess what? The hilarious fact about the whole fight, the whole altercation, the whole drama is it was just a freaking prank! A freaking prank! It's not real! <laughs> you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. Now, the tea of this video is the altercation between Terry and Tato. These people, they planned to pull up a stunt, they planned to pull up a prank and do something crazy, you know, prank the other housemates who are not up for eviction this week and they've been doing it, they've been going at each other like crazy. Guys, it looks so real, it looks so real and they are not even stopping anytime soon. And guess what? A lot of people, the sheepers, the fans, Terry's fans, Gashwan's fans, Tato's fans, Mpo's fans, everybody is all irated. People are upset, not knowing that this is all just a freaking prank. So, first things first, the fight is not real. Terry, Mpo, Tato, Gashwan, I think Sister Mara is also aware, they have come together and decided to prank the other guys. That's the people that are not up for eviction. I'm talking about Temba, Libo, and Tools because there are only eight in the house. So the initial idea was to, I think, to dump a condom in the bathroom and make it seem like, you know, people are probably had their intimate moment in the bathroom because we know that um tato and gashwan they are the only couple in the house so naturally fingers will point to them but then the guys had not immediately discovered the condom in the bathroom so it was looking like this thing was going to drag or it was not going to work out and so they decided to improvise and come up with the fight which is what sparked up the altercation terry was you know fake cleaning the bathroom and then she fake found <laughs> the condom and then she made an offer about it and they were literally going at each other they were arguing they were bantering they were literally insulting each other up to the point of are you crazy are you mad like guys see for yourself I, you, I saw you guys take you time find to come out of you find the condom first thing I yes and now you, you want to come out of that box. now In as much as it's all a prank, it also sounded a bit personal and it's almost making me want to agree with those people that feel like, okay, maybe Tato and Terry, they have things in their mind that they really wanted to say to each other. Because guys, the altercation, the things they said, it's actually kind of real, to be very honest. I mean, if you look at it, Terry before had, you know, expressed her displeasure at the housemates, um, allowing Tato and Gashwan to do their PDA publicly, do all whatever they want to do about their romance publicly. When um, she and Vino had been fully castigated when they were trying to express their love to one another. So it, it was not really surprising, you know, the things that Terry was saying to Tato, but Tato was not fully innocent because Tato was also saying a lot of things as well. Like, oh, is Gashwan the only man in the house? Why are you pointing fingers at us? Oh, why didn't you come and ask us if, if we had sex in the house? You know, blah, blah, blah. Now, another thing that made it look so real was Tato. Even though it's a prank, it seemed as though Tato could not stomach the effect of Terry's words or her own reaction to the entire exercise. Yes, she started taking it personal, guys. So the fact that they all agreed that it was going to be a prank, whilst the entire altercation was going on, there was a flurry of activity. Mbok could not really control her laughter, guys. So what was she doing? She kept on moving from Terry to Tato, telling them, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's only a condom. And then at some point, she went to Gashon to ask Ga um, Gashon, oh, is this the size of your condom? Is this yours? Uh, if we had sex, I would own it now, wouldn't I? Gash, is that the condom? Is that your condom size? Is that your condom size? <laughs> now, whilst all of these was going on, Terry was having a good time. Like she was literally goading Tato. Tato as well was goading her. And then Tato got upset because she realized that 
in the midst of the entire uproar, Gashon was quiet. I mean, Gashon was literally looking and removing his eyes because he was sitting with tools on the patio. So, Tato, out of whether it's a realistic annoyance or fake annoyance to add more effect and juiciness to the whole drama, she now went to Gashon and was complaining, Oh, baby, why are you not saying anything? Why am I here catching stray bullets? Why are you not saying anything? And Gashon was like, Well, I was talking to Terry, but she, her voice is too loud. She wasn't responding. So I have said what I want to say to her. So Tato got upset. I went to go and sit alone in the garden for a bit. So she went to the garden, she sat down there and she made it look like she was actually crying. Then she got upset again, she got up from the garden and then she went straight into the house telling Gashon not to talk to her. Then she went to ring the bell of the diary room, Big Brother answered her, opened the door, she went inside, she stayed there for a bit, she came out again like she was just acting a lot of drama to make it look real. But the funny thing is, in the midst of all the opera, Temba was shouting, guys calm down! Calm down, it's a prank. But Tools and Libo, they were not getting the picture. Sister Mara was literally laughing and dancing. Now, to even add more dramatic effects, Big Brother decided to give them music. You know all this dramatic kind of music that everybody is going crazy and gaga? Big Brother added music to it. So the other thing was really interesting to watch. It was quite exciting. As a matter of fact, I wished they had actually brought this kind of drama earlier. But then, guys, the reality is, Tato was fully, fully affected by this whole drama. Yes, and it kind of subdued her spirit. It kind of made her sit down, you know, and have a moment of introspection. Yes, so she had to call Gashon to the garden and then she started asking him if truly he had her back. I mean, she started wondering if she wasn't fooling herself by being with Gashwan, if she wasn't really playing herself. And she was asking him all of these questions. And then she even went as far as telling him that the reason why she's asking is because she had heard Mpo and Terry having a conversation about social currency, you know, people using other people to climb up to the top to win the two million rands or just to make it to the finals, you know. So she was saying that she wanted to be sure and be assured that Gashon wasn't playing her, that Gashon has her back. And Gashon, of course, was assuring her all over again. But then he was also complimenting her acting skills, telling her that she's a great actor. Now, guys, she was now confused and scared that oh my god she had gone into the diary room but big brother did not say anything but it seemed as though big brother was going along with the act and so they decided that okay fine they cannot just stop now because they've already started so they should continue so they went back into the house and this time around she and terry they went into a full-blown crazy altercation they were saying crazy things i mean tato went as far as you know saying that oh how would you want to fight with a woman because of a man Because Gashon did not choose you. You know, Terry too was saying a lot of things. Oh, you're not the only couple in the house. You probably have been having sex, blah, 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 blah. Guys, once again, they said it's a prank, right? Well, in my opinion, I feel like this was just an avenue for these two people to vent their deep rooted dislike for one another. Yes, it's a prank, yes, but the things they were saying, it sounded like they've been holding all these things in their chest. Because, guys, the reason I'm saying this is. The conversation that Tato had with Gashon on Sunday, the same thing she was spewing this afternoon or this morning, whatever, that was the same thing that she was spewing back at Terry. You know, the fact that, oh, Terry likes Gashwan, but now she's regretting that Gashwan chose me over her, blah, 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 you know. Tato was speaking her mind. Terry also was speaking her mind. But guys, at the end of the day, <laughs> they were all laughing they were all making fun of the whole thing you know to the point that it looked as if it was going to get physical like terry was seriously charging from downstairs i'll be upstairs downstairs to go and meet tato um Mpo was trying to hold her back and they both of them they were playing um you know jokes like oh wait, wait let, let's make it more serious you know they were humping on the ta on the boards they were just making the whole thing very very intense to the point that temba at some point he knew it was a prank but he was still unsure he was scared that he had to go and be holding Terry, that Terry don't go anywhere. Do you want to catch a strike? Do you want to give up the two million, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it was getting really serious and intense. But then they had to stop. Terry and Mpo, they were all laughing about it. As a matter of fact, they stopped. Everybody was laughing. But guys, in my opinion, I feel like they've used this so-called prank to purgate their emotions. Now, at least in the midst of all of that, <laughs> the laughter and all, the fun, the prank, They've actually made their hearts content. 
known to one another so it's no longer a hidden fact that okay oh, um, this is what i think about you oh this is what i think about you. this is my perception about you so overall it was quite entertaining to watch it was quite interesting i had a good laugh i mean i enjoyed it and i was even wondering why they didn't even pull up this crazy prank from last week or probably the previous week you know it would have been more entertaining more exciting you know but the people i pity now are the shippers and the fans those ones they are going crazy on twitter they are busy fighting themselves. Oh, I'm not going to vote for Terry. Oh, I'm not going to vote for Mpo. Mpo and Terry just lost my vote. Oh, why are they cursing out um, Tato? Oh, why are they victimizing that? You people should rest. It's a freaking prank. You people don't even know how to play. Someone cannot play with you people. Someone cannot even joke with you people. Every smart thing. Every smart thing. Calm down, Jerry. Ah, and you know what? For those of you who are very, very open-minded, I enjoyed it just as I did. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Bye!